All right, this video is going to be on um, the genetics of uh, ball pythons or any animal in general. All right, what I have right here is a dominant animal. Um, this is the normal wild type. Um, it's um, it has uh, no mutated genes. There's nothing. I mean, this is what you'll find out in. Um, in the wild, where you'll find, you'll find, you can find this exact animal, I mean, not the exact animal, but I mean, an animal looks just like this out in the wild uh, in Africa, and uh, it's a normal wild type. It, it has no, um, no, uh, no mutations whatsoever, and um, yeah, so that's a, this is a dominant animal. Go ahead and move this guy out of here bring the recessive animal in. This is a recessive animal. This is the albino. Just getting ready to shed. And uh, albino means uh, it's um, a specimen that, ha that is lacking any melanin whatsoever. And melanin is uh, basically the color black. So uh, this animal has no black um, in it whatsoever. No black pigment. pigment. Um, it is the homozygous form of the heterozygous normal for albino. Um, so yeah. Uh, now, um, I don't have any, I don't, I don't currently have any co-dominant animals, and I wasn't really able to bring out the spider, because he's being not the most fun of all snakes right now, being kind of nippy and just being all crabby, but, um, I'll, give, I'll go ahead and uh, talk about him a little bit too. Um, since a spider is a dominant trait, but um, it uh, just like this, a spider is dominant. I'm actually I might be able to get him out. Hold on one second. Go ahead and get him out. Oh, it's not as bad as before, but uh. Spider is dominant, okay. and um, these two are both males. But say this were a female and this were a male, um, these two would actually be perfect because he's about perfect size for a female to be ready to breed. But um, fortunately, he's a male. Um, if I were to breed a um, spider to a, a normal uh, dominant animal um, such as this, I'd get half and half half spider and half the normal wild type. Um, if I were to breed uh, spider to albino, I would get um, a animals that look like this guy, the, the spider, animals that look like the normal, who is running away from me. Uh, that would be their phenotype. Their phenotype is uh, what they look like, physically what they look like, pheno, physical. Uh, their genotype is their genetic makeup, and their genetic makeup would be albino. Um, the albino wouldn't show in the second generation of just normal to um, normal to recessive or dominant to recessive, but um, third generation it would show because uh, it would uh, be they would be half and half het and or half het and half albino or half homozygous, so half heterozygous and half homozygous. And these guys are all so hyper. Only like nine o'clock, jeez. So um that's what that is basically. Oh my. Um now when you breed a um homozygous animal such as like an albino back to an uh albino uh, you're gonna get all albinos, homozygous to homozygous, because that's just, it's not like a, it's not like a morph, morph sort of thing. It's, there's not really a term called like a morph, morph, but, uh, basically, it, uh, what I'm trying to get at is, say, it's not, like a morph, morph to me would be like a spider to an albino, make spider heterozygous for albino, a normal heterozygous to albino. When you breed the spider hets, Back to the um, albino, you get spider albinos, uh, normal albinos, normal heterozygous for albino, and uh, spi spider heterozygous for albino. So you get 
uh, homozygous and uh, and uh, heterozygous. And then when you breed the homozygous back to the homozygous, you get all homozygous. But since it's a morph morph, uh, you're gonna get spider albino and normal albino. And this works for any dominant recessive trait. Um, I mean, really, you just you just kind of look around and see see what you kind of um, what you want to figure out. And it's really, I mean, there's so many websites uh, like uh, ballpythons dot uh, dot ca. Or, um, they, they they'll show you that. Also, um, Nerd New England Reptile Distributors with uh, Kevin McCurley. Uh, they call him the uh, Evil Morph God, and uh, they got a good website to tell you about that. Now, um, let's see. Um, I don't have any co-dominant animals right now. I'm going to get some so I can breed them to the spider, so I can get um, uh, bumblebee, bumblebees rather. Um, and that would be a pastel bred to a spider. And um, co-dominant, really, um, you kind of just like it's like a mix of like if you if you get a dominant and a co-dominant, it kind of takes on like the co-dominant co-dominant uh, coloring, but the uh, dominant uh, the dominant traits like patterns. So basically, it would look like the spider. Its patterns would be the same as the spider. But it'll be a way brighter coloration. So, I mean, instead of this being brown color right here, this is this would pretty much be yellow, almost like an albino, just a little bit darker. And um, its back would be the color of this brown instead of this black on the stripes here. Um, so yeah, codominance. When you breed a codominant animal to a uh, back to a codominant animal, you get um, you get the super form, and that's the homozygous form of um, the codominant, and um, yeah, super is like a, or, um, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, say you, you breed a uh, pastel to a pastel, you're going to get a super pastel, um, and, you know, that's like a, that's a codominant mutation. Also, like a super cinnamon, that's like the, uh, like a black eyed Lucy, but all black instead of all white. Picture there, and then like a black eyed leucistic or a blue blue eyed leucistic. Those are the super forms, or the homozygous form, I guess, would be the more uh, herp uh, correct. I don't know. Um, homozygous form is uh, the the real genetic term, but uh, we call it super around in the herp world. Um, so yeah, that's um, my little spiel on genetics, and um, yeah, um, you could go ahead and check out New England Reptile Distributors. It's in the um, about this video column. It'll give you all uh, all the info. And um, if you're wondering, I do plan on breeding all these animals. And um, yeah, I mean, I'll go ahead and stand up and show you just how long these guys are in comparison to my foot. You can see that guy's pretty pretty darn tootin' big. And uh yeah, so that's my uh, genetics thing. And uh hope you learned any learned something. Yeah. Cool. Out.